Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay, let's begin. Sure. Hello, everyone. Hello, Berlin. Hi. Uh, what's up? <laughs> uh, I'm very glad to bring you this sharing. Yeah, I'm Xiao Yang, and uh, this is my colleague, Zhou Xing. Hello, everyone. Yeah, uh, we are from EasyStack. EasyStack is a leading provider of open source cloud computing solution. We, uh, we are established in February uh, 2014 by the earliest core OpenStack R&D team from IBM China. Yeah, we have more than 100 eco partners. And you can uh, look at our leadership, innovation, research and uh, deployment details. EasyStack joins the top three OpenStack vendor in 2018. Look at EasyStack is number two. Yeah. This is our product, uh, four product lines. We have EMS, EasyStack multi-cloud service, EKS, uh, enterprise production ready Kubernetes service, and ECS stack a cloud-ready HCI product, and ECS, an enterprise OpenStack product. Why choose EasyStack OpenStack product? I think EasyStack uh, OpenStack product have, uh, has, a, has the following comparabilities. Click, uh, one click rolling upgrade on microservice architecture. Yeah. Virtualized uh, resource uh, orchestration to application center. And we have high performance storage. And simple maintenance and monitoring to automation service. <coughs> we have three design concept. Software and hardware integration design. Uh, best product uh, obligation to open source and enterprise experience and the design for failure. The value to a customer is sustainable evolution capability. This is our innovative distributed microservice HA architecture. <coughs> we have distributed micro, uh, microservice com components that converge deployment control computing storage, and the networking service. Uh, also have a molecular horizontal uh, ex expansion. Based on our uh, microservice architecture, we have achieved to ability uh, of rolling upgrade and evolutionary, evolutionary capability. We can use our ECS, EOS, ECMS, ECAS, and ESCL upgrade packages to rolling upgrade our cloud environment. <coughs> and this is our product software architecture overview. We can see ECMS provides monitoring for all software, and ECAS provides automation center. You can use the ECS stack cloud automation service to deployment, expansion, uh, maintenance, and upgrading our cloud environment. This is our uh, monitoring service. Uh, uh, it, it have, it have uh, comprehensive monitoring of hardware, services, and performance. And you can use our virtualized full resources uh, orchestration to directly orchestrate published uh, uh, application top topologies and uh, uh, orchestration application center images. Uh, it, will, uh, it will let you be a cloud application architect because it uh, can be uh, virtualized for OpenStack uh, uh, cloud resources 
like has inter, uh, instance, volume, LB, firewall, and so on. We also have enterprise production ready disaster re recovery capability. Uh, many to many uh, replication. It's designed for cloud, for OpenStack cloud. Yeah. Cloud resources entry protection. Okay. And next, welcome my colleague Zhou Xing, bring us a live demo. Okay. okay. Thanks, Xiaoyang, for sharing us the powerful product. So today we will do the demo by using our two data center region from Beijing, China. So let's begin. The first coming out is ECAS, Automation Service. Yeah. This is the ECAS management page. So it can manage the life circle of cluster. It includes nodes management, license management, and configuration management, and also have cluster expansion and upgrade. And also, it integrated monitor system, ECMS, and the cloud service console. So today, we'll demo adding a new feature into the cluster by upgrade. We take the enable disaster recovery as an example. So before this, we should uh, we go to the cloud service check if the this disaster recovery has been added. So we go to the ECS cloud service console. We find ISS manager, and uh, there are instance volume and network. Uh, not found the disaster recovery in here. So we come back to ECS and uh, make an upgrade. Yeah. We click the cloud environment upgrade. In the page, there are three steps you should do. First, import upgrade package and uh, select the target version and uh, finally click the start. Because uh, we have already imported the upgrade package before, so we just uh, select the target version and uh, click the start. During the upgrade, there are no effects with the cloud service uh, because it, it will take uh, several minutes. So we do the next demo. The next demo is orchestrate the application in NP Center by visualize uh, orchestration. So we go to the nest, go to the ECS, switch to console navigation, go to click the APP marketplace, means APP center, and browsing all those applications. There are two applications, so we choose the Berlin APP, customized APP, so check the detail. It has only one version. 0.1, so we remember this. So we will next uh, we will edit it by visual orchestration. So we turn turn to the left side and find orchestration. Click stack and uh, click create template. Select the last create from APU center. Create. Oh, uh, we're loading the Berlin APP. Okay, now select the version because it's only one version. So select and uh, click. An editable canvas coming out. So we can see that the application is not a uh, LB application. So we make some change to make it uh, to be a LB application. So we just uh, use the left side resource and drag uh, and then release. Let's do it. First, we drag one instance. 
and uh, fill some information. And choose one key pair. And seal. The server is ready. And we drag, we drag load balance and release. So it matched. We fill the listener, set a port, and set our pool, LB pool. Select the upstream server one by one, set a port. Select the last server, set port, and save it. In this canvas, we also need a floating IP, so we just drag. We can see that it's perceptive, so we should place to the load balance and save. So I finish the template and save. The network is very slow. Maybe should have patient. Oh. Fill a template name. And uh, we select the last uh, option, import to IPv market. And uh, there are two options. The first option is to create a new application, and, and two is uh, a new version application. So we, we select a new version. And we should uh, fill some description for the new version application. First, uh, fill a version and some description. And import. Oh, the, AP, uh, the new version application has been imported to the AP market. So we check it, browsing all the Application, select the Berlin APP. We see there are two versions. The 0 0.2 is what we have finished. So we finish the second demo. So in this time, we, return, we come back to the ECS and check our upgrade. In the, in the ECS page, the upgrade shows 100%, so we made it. Uh, during the process, it's also proved that it's a smooth and seamless upgrade. So we go to the cloud, cloud service console and check the disaster recovery uh, has been added. We switch the both navigation, collect assets. Uh, maybe just a refresh. It's loading. Oh, we found the disaster recovery re service. It uh, named DR resource. So our upgrade is finished. The first demo is finished. So we do the last demo. The last demo is uh, show you how to back up the OpenStack resource by using disaster recovery. Uh, we have two data center cluster uh, named demo one and demo two. And at the following, there are two uh, steps you should do. The first is a DR service, and the second is a DR group. Be uh, to save time, uh, the, we have created the uh, data connection by uh, DR service, it is used to keep data sync. sync. And uh, now we just uh, uh, create a DR group and uh, put your OpenStack resource into it. So now we, uh, we, we to demo the sync. We go to the, uh, our backup cluster to check the DR group has existed. 
this is our backup demo two, uh, backup cluster. So you will see that DR group is empty. So we just come back demo one, uh, primary cluster to do the backup. Service cancel. And click create DR group. I set name. Berlin DR Yo Yo R and set a peer peer item ID. It uh, will I will fill a uh, project ID. It means uh, open uh, project ID. Uh, I will uh, I will get it uh, get it from a backup cluster. It means uh, which project uh, you want to place uh, in the backup cluster. So it goes to the backup cluster. And go to the UUID. No. And uh, fill it. Create. So we also. We created the DR group, and then we go to the backup to see. It also have a, a DR group, so the group is synced. I come back them one. We created the group and add your own site resource. We select a uh, theme as example and fill the project uh, authorization. <coughs> now the results has been added. So you can see the status is changed from in init to uh, restoring. Uh, finally, it will change to uh, mapped, so it will take uh, one minute. Uh, in, the, in this moment, uh, we will come back to the backup cluster to see uh, if they have uh, the uh, same resource. Refresh. The restoring is working on. Now, in the time, we'll, we can see our ECS more details. Like this node management, this is a node list, and check detail. You can see the hardware, hardware, and the NIC configuration, and the disk config. Now we should return back uh, to check the backup. So I think we, uh, we need a wait a minute. Oh, it's okay. It's mapped. Yeah. Mapped means uh, the resource has been added. So we go to the backup and check. Oh, it also have synced. So uh, the the resource must be uh, should be maybe uh, added. We check the computer resource and check the instance. Oh, the name GF. We go to back, demo one, the name is GF. So uh, our OpenStack resource has, has been synced. So the second demo is finished.
Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks for choosing. Yeah, I think uh, uh, it's a, it's amazing demo. Okay, uh, uh, finally, uh, finally. Okay, I want to say Instack Missions is a world-class cloud computing enterprise based on the open source ecosystem. And welcome to visit our booth at, at A8. A8? Yeah, A8. <laughs> thank you. Uh, that's all, thank you. Thank you.